This is a tutorial on how to calculate averages within functional skills. Now today we're going to be specifically looking at the mode average. This is one of the three most common types of averages you'll be asked. It can sometimes be referred to as the modal, but these two mean exactly the same thing. So what we're going to do is look at some examples for this type of question if you are asked to find the mode. What you'll always get given to you in the question is a set of data values. So I'm just going to write some up on the board for this first example. So we'll have 2, 5, 10, 3, 7, 5, 12, and 20. So that's our set of values. Now, arguably, this is the easiest of the three modes, uh, the three averages, sorry, to calculate. Because you don't actually have to do much specific calculation. The way to work this question out is essentially one step and you just need to find what is the most common or the most frequent number in this list. So if we have a look at these numbers we can actually see that there's two fives and only one of everything else. So our answer in this case is just going to be five and that say is your final answer so you don't need to do any specific calculations normally that's all it is obviously that's fair enough if we haven't got a huge amount of numbers like here we've only got eight numbers it was relatively easy to spot which one appeared more often than the others but we'll move on to another example where it's not as easy and we've got a lot more to deal with so this time we're going to look at we'll call these the waiting times in a doctor's surgery. And then I'm going to write down all the minutes that certain patients had to wait. So we'll start with 5 min, 10, 12, 3, 5, 20, eight seven two ten five twelve twenty five four twelve and we'll finish on twenty one. Oh just rub that out. Last one was 21. Okay, so obviously you can see we've got a lot more numbers to deal with here. So it's not going to be quite as simple just to look at them and easily detect which one appears more commonly, commonly than the others. There is another technique you can use if this is the case. What you can do is take each value, so for example, 5 minutes, and then actually count up how many times that occurs by crossing them off in the list and we'll do it as a tally chart so we've got one two three so I've just got three lots of five minutes so as I say we can write that in a tally chart format the next one we'll do is ten you might not have to do this for every individual different number as it becomes clearer which ones are more common We'll start off that way. So 10 minutes, how many 10s have we got? 1, 2. So just a 2 for 10 minutes. The next one we've got in the list was a 12. So 12 mins. We'll cross off how many 12s we have. So 1, 2, 3. So we've got 3 12s. Next one was three minutes. So how many threes have we got? We've got one. Just the one for that. And the next one we'll do twenty minutes. So how many twenties do we have? We've got one. And again just the one. Now it might become clear that actually the rest of the numbers 
there's only one of each. There's one eight, one seven, one two, one twenty five, one four, and one twenty one. So they're not going to be sort of contenders, if you like, for the most common number. What we have got then, if we look at our tally chart that we've just created, is five minutes. There's actually three of those, but also there's three for twelve minutes. So you might be wondering this question doesn't make sense there isn't a most common or most frequent number so it's a, actually a good example of sometimes you don't always have a standout winner if that makes sense you'll have occasionally two that are the same uh, that appear the same amount of time so in this case our answer instead of being one number would actually be five mins and twelve mins that were the most common for the modal value. So those would be your two answers. As I say it doesn't always have to be one specific answer that's the highest. If you've got two that are joint top, they'll both be your answer for the mode. And that is the end of this short tutorial on the mode.